Hi guys and welcome to another review and today I'm reviewing Forgotten Anne. So what is this game? Well the game is a seamless cinematic adventure game with light puzzles and platforming elements. You play as Anne, the enforcer who keeps order in the Forgotten Lands as she sets out to quash a rebellion that might prevent her and her master Bonko and herself from returning to the human world. When you first start the game you are greeted with a cutscene showing you what the world is all about. It takes place in a special parallel realm where lost objects from missing socks to discarded lamps will come to life open to one day to be remembered again and return to our world. The character you play as is called Anne and she has to keep everything in order in this world. What I really like is that you have choices to make in the dialogue and whatever you pick changes the way the story ends just like the Mass Effect or the Telltale series The Walking Dead. There is platforming in this game to, for you to get around in different locations in the world and you have to complete missions. And comes with two abilities, Win and Anavision. Winds lets you reach areas that she can't reach normally and if you miss your jump the winds will spawn and slowly take you to the ground. Anime Vision is ability where you use it to take power or transfer power to machines or take away your enemy's power to finish them. There are many different collectibles in the game so there's a good reason to head back into the game. If you have finished the game you can start all again and do things differently and that will change the outcome of the game. Forgotten Anne is a 2D anime side scroller and the developer has done a really good job in crafting this world. The animation in this game looks so good it's just like watching an animated film. The game has good light and shadow effects that also brings the game to life. The sound in this game is really good at times and sometimes the music overpowers the dialogue so you can't really hear sometimes when the characters speak. I really like the in-game music and I tell you that it's its own story. So what is my conclusion? Well, Toothland Games have created a nice looking 2D anime style scroller and wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. From the characters, voice acting and the beautiful animation film like cutscenes, Toothland has got a gem on their hands and I highly recommend you give this a try. If you like these type of games, I hope that this game does well because Toothland Games has put a lot of love and care into this game and it shows. And my rating for this is 4.8 out of 5 which is fantastic. So I really would highly recommend you pick this game up. So this was the review today guys and I'll see you in the other. See you later guys. Bye bye.